Welcome back to another Adults Craft episode on the Bedrock server. And as you can see, there has been some work getting done, so we'll have a quick tour about and then we'll jump straight into our project for today. So, first of all, we have the tower has started taking shape. We've also got this lovely walkway coming out, but I've also moved the tower out, so from what you saw when I was building the kelp farm over there. It's moved out another two blocks, so it's now um, 40 in diameter. We have also converted the witch hut into something that looks a bit more modern, rather than being the oak. Still got some tidying up to do on it, not quite happy with it, but it's not too bad just now. We've also got this nice walkway around the middle, and if we look down... Yep, we've been busy digging it all out, and we've got another two of these kind of platforms and at the levels that will eventually be the levels of the other two quarters other three quarters even because we've got that one and the two that I haven't started digging out yet so there's still a lot of work to do but it's getting there if we jump down through here you will also see that we've started digging things out and I have started preparing for our storage room now we're not going to get to that today because I'm running out of running out of iron. Now iron's kind of wrong button. So iron is a bit of a hard to get resource in bedrock. Um, you can mine it out, like there's some in the ceiling there that we'll need to go and get get. But we haven't built an iron farm yet and that will let us run all this all the hoppers into this this will be bulk storage and there'll be lots of other things and sorters and stuff but we can't make the hoppers for it because i am nearly run out of iron i have a little bit left but not a lot and i don't want to spend all in there i need to rip it out to do some other projects so i'm going to keep what i have but if we jump out here you'll see there is a nice big project getting started here and this is going to be our trading hall come iron farm now i've not done a lot to it i am in the process of gathering up all the concrete to make it but one major thing we're going to need to make this work is going to be villagers that's right we'll need to fill it up with at least 21 villagers i think so I think today we are going to get started with a villager breeder. So what we're going to do is fly out this way. I do have, we have a little village over this side, which I've been playing about with. And I do have some villagers that have been doing some sort of trading now and again for emeralds and some bits and pieces. So over here, as you can see, I have set up a portal already for the farm. And I have, in this lovely stone box, got some villagers working away so that I can get some emeralds. Mainly because I'm trying to build up that beacon so I can get a full beacon and then I can get digging properly and quickly. But we'll come back to that. So what I want to do is jump up here. And basically turn this into our villager breeder. So if we take out this old fountain first, I think. Like so. That torch is probably going to be in the way. And if we pull out our little project box, and we'll dump that there. So, not a lot of resources going to this. These will be for moving the, the villagers. That's just in case I need to make more rails, but hopefully not. It's only just over there. Um, basically, there's not a lot to this. So I probably should have made a, brought a crafting table with me, but never mind. We'll just do that, and we'll pull along that there. But, realistically, there's not a lot to this. Now, I was hoping to make it out of the spruce... and see what happens with it. Just wanted to try and match it in. Oh, no, nope, nope, nope. 
try and match it in with the buildings that are around about here. They're all sort of the terracotta and the wooden planks. And I've got lots of spruce from loads of big trees I've been making. So I thought, well, might as well use that. So in essence, this breather, you're going to start with a box. So one, two, three, four, five, six long. If we run through the portal and we'll not get trapped in it, all we want to do is really, I'm just going to block the back of that off so that nothing can get in and so that I don't do anything stupid with it. So, yep, build it up too high and then you're going to want to come out another row right the way around. We'll put a wee bit there to get up onto. So, pretty simple. Here we're going to go up. We need some more planks. I'm going to go up like that. Another two. So that you get this kind of C shape on the end. And then F. Probably be better off using some scaffolding for that. That's not scaffolding or an ender chest. That'll be my ender chest and we'll pull out some scaffolding. That should make it easier for us getting up and down just now. There we go. So now we've got that C shape in place. What we're going to do is grab a couple of beds, the fences and the buttons. And if we jump back up. You're going to want to face that way, put one bed in like that, and one bed in like that. And then, not the bottom one, but the top one, put your fence in there. Grab a couple of buttons, plonk one there, and plonk one there. Now, all that's really left is for ours. There's my bucket is in there. We'll run up. We can get up. There we go. Go on to put water source on that corner. And jump there and get another one. We'll get in there. There we go. And we're just going to fill in the other water source on the other side just to make it even. Do that. And that'll push all the babies straight through the portal. So really, that's it probably going to put a roof on it just to protect the villagers from anything but if we jump through here and then uh, we'll come out the other side so all I'm going to do here is make a little holding pen which I went the wrong way so we'll fill that back in So down, going to drop it down to likey so. Maybe give them another one. I think that's it's actually three. I've been overzealous with my digging. So there we go. And um, we'll just check that the back is not open. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Just to stop them going any other way but where we want them to. And again, we're going to... Uh, where did all my wood go? Stick a couple of buttons there. And that should be us. We'll knock that one out and head back through. So now all I need to do is break all the beds in there and get two villagers in here. So I'm going to save you that. I'm going to go and move the villagers and I will be back in a minute once I've done that. Okay, so we now have our villagers successfully into their little 
pen here and they've bound to the beds which is quite nice. Let's see if I can grab that minecart back. Don't think you did. Before they get up. So let's clear our inventory out a wee bit of all the stuff we don't need. So now what we're going to need to do is to put in some more beds. So obviously what we're probably going to do is I think I'm just going to have three down each side here and then um, we'll do We'll even colour coat, but no, I don't want to sit like that. So we'll put them like that, which is kind of cool because it mirrors the stalls over there. So that should be our breeder finished. Now, all we need to do is give them some food. So I did have a wee bit of food in here. We'll go and see if there's any more carrots ready to go. Oh, yeah, there's tons. So what we'll do, we'll harvest these up, see if we can get a whole stack out of this. And um, we'll throw it to the villagers and see if we've been successful or not. Come on. Bit laggy. And there's more over here as well. Awesome. At some point I do want to do a crop farm, but that should do us for now. Tell you what, we've got enough, let's just replant these. Right. That worked out exactly. Cool. So let's jump up and we'll throw the um, stack of food and see how we get on. Or we'll fall off the scaffolding. Nothing's changed there then. So let's do that. And we'll jump down to the beds and see what happens. So Oh, there we go. So I think we've got one baby already and it's hiding in the corner, but we should get another one. And then as they wander about, they should fall into the water and go zooming out. So there's one baby. So that's us finished with the villager breeder. We now have it all decorated and sealed in. The only thing I probably want to do is go up in the sky and put in a glass ceiling just to stop lightning hitting them and turning them into vi uh, not villagers, they are villagers, turning them into witches. But I'll not do that just now because I'm not going to be hanging about here much longer. Um, I think probably, oh, what are they doing? No, just running about. So if we take a look at what I've actually done, we'll still need the scaffolding to get up to it. But I've basically just sealed it in. And put a couple of trapdoors on the top, just so that we can still get in and throw the food to them. Oh, I've trapped them, but they are in there. If we can't reach it. Maybe it'll come out. No, he's in a half. Never mind. But if we go and fall off the top of it, if we go and see, we'll take a run through into the nether and see, it's been running probably 15 minutes. Probably the time it took me to build that building, which wasn't long as you can tell. I just sort of threw it together and had to put lime glass in it. But if we fly over, we'll run through our portal, and that will show you sort of really how close it will end up being to the base for moving them into the trading hall down there. But we'll jump in here, and we'll go down the opposite way from the tunnel, so the other, the to the main islands that way. But we can run through here, and we'll see them all plopping through there and jumping about.
that's what it looks like we've done well. And yes, we have. That is a lot of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're over half... Yeah, we're over halfway there to fill in our trading hall already. I'd say that's a pretty good success. Look at all those scary faces. There we go. So, that's going to do us for today, guys. As always, if you liked the video, do smash that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying what I'm creating and the content I'm doing, do sub consider subscribing to us. And as always, do check out twitch.tv forward slash proco. I do do live streaming over there from the server and various other bits and pieces and show you behind the scenes and talk you through the, my designs and plans for the future of the server. So do check that out as well. And as always, I will see you next time. And I bash my head. Goodbye.